Juggling is a skill in soccer that always leads to debates. Many people tell me that it doesn't do anything or that it's even useless, and they couldn't be more wrong. But I'm getting ahead of myself. In this video, I'll share with you that everything that changed me from struggling to get 10 in a row to over 2,000. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Before we get started, put your juggling record down in the comments below. And if you don't know your juggling record yet, then pause this video, go out and test yourself, and then write it down in the comments. I'll explain why this is important in just a little bit. Now that you know where you're at, I'll let you know how I did it, and then I'll give you a plan that you can use. The first thing that really positively impacted my juggling ability was watching other people do it. And not just anyone, but somebody great at it. Analyze the technique they are using and try to incorporate it into your own juggling. Mimic them. In fact, that's why most of this video is just clips of me juggling with different styles and sizes of balls. Just observing somebody juggling well will help you when you try to replicate it. While that is a cool little trick, unfortunately, you won't get better at juggling just by watching other people do it. You need to be practicing juggling daily. Spending just 30 minutes a day on juggling will improve your ability rapidly. You will never get better at juggling sitting on the couch, watching Netflix or TikTok. Hold yourself accountable. Say to yourself, I will juggle at least 30 minutes every day for two weeks. And this is where the title comes in. I believe that if you do that every day for two weeks, you'll at least double your record. So please come back to this video in a couple weeks and compare where you are now to where you are after two weeks. Don't be surprised if I reply to your comment in two weeks just to hear about what your progress is. I love to hear about you guys getting better. The third thing I did to get better at juggling was I made it fun. And there's so many ways you can do this, so get creative. Here's a few examples to get you started. You can listen to music if you have access to a phone or a laptop or speaker or something like that. This can help you relax and not stress yourself out over trying to get more and more juggles. Another thing you can do is play juggling games. If you're not great at juggling, play this progression game. Take one touch and then catch it, and then two touches and catch it, and three and catch it, and so on. You can do this with one foot too. One touch with your right foot, then one touch with your left foot, two touch with your right foot, and then two touch with your left foot, and so on. You can also play juggling games like two touch if you're better at juggling. I'll come out with a video with a couple of these juggling games in the next couple weeks or so, so subscribe if you wanna see that. Finally, another thing that can make juggling fun is competing against a friend. See who can do more juggles. This will make you more likely to go out and train to develop your ability since we all hate losing. Real quick, if you've enjoyed the video so far, then please leave a like or subscribe if you haven't already. I make all kinds of training videos that will help improve you as a player. Thanks. The fourth thing I did to develop my juggling ability was practicing juggling with different styles. And there's so many ways to juggle. If you have a good record, but can only juggle like this, then it's time to challenge yourself. Always focus on developing both feet. You can juggle below knee, below waist height, above waist height, and you can even start experimenting with putting different spin on the ball like backspin and side spin. You can work on juggling with just the inside of your foot and then the outside of your foot. Get creative and try new things. Being able to juggle with all these different techniques will really make a difference in your ball control, first touch, and overall confidence with the ball. The fifth thing, and one of the most important things from this video, is setting juggling goals every week or every other week. Let's say right now you can only do like 12 juggles. You need to set a goal that in just two weeks, you'll be over 20. And this isn't a goal like, I hope I can get to 20. No, 
If you can't hold yourself accountable to achieve it, then tell your coach your goal and at the end of it, show them that you can do it. Trust me, if you do these five things I've taught you, then you are capable of improving your record in just two weeks. In fact, I believe that you can double it in just two weeks. So here's the big milestones you should push for as jugglers. First get 10 and then get 20. Next get 50 in a row. Once you've done that, get 100, 200, 500, and then 1,000 juggles. If you can do over 2,000 juggles in a row, you can also drop down from a size five or four to a smaller ball. Try juggling with a size one. If you can do 200 juggles with a size one, then try a tennis ball. If you can do 200 with a tennis ball, then you've mastered juggling. So remember, comment or write down your juggling record and then go double it in two weeks. Let me know how these tips work for you. If you're a good juggler already and want to challenge yourself and improve your ball control and first touch, check out these drills. They're perfect for you. Leave a like if you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.